all right this is nifty and daily chart now i can see price just opening a gap up uh, above this resistance line somewhere there here you can see very weak resistance line somewhere there and price opening a gap up and again price drop and just close below this uh, resistance line and we are looking for buy if price close above this uh, resistance line so today i just uh, uh, uh close below this uh, resistance line so that is where we are not looking for the buy. Now question is there, can I go for short? No. Here you can see this is the clear uptrend. Somewhere there correction. And they are creating a new high. So we expect that price may give a correction. And if they form any buy signal somewhere there, definitely we will go for buy. And next the target will be somewhere around uh, 15,300. Because here you can see previously price are respecting somewhere here i'm not looking for buy and then let's see bank nifty mm. oh, bank nifty where is the bank nifty this one okay and now bank nifty here you can see this is the correction all right so price create a new high and now you can see the price action like that like that like that like that and here you can see double bottom pattern up forming uh, somewhere there neckline is a probability to give a correction from this level all right and we are looking for buy somewhere there after giving a correction and this line they are respecting here you can see this is a very weak resistance line somewhere here all right so exactly they are respecting here and it is a probability to give a correction uh, to this level here you can see this is the uh, resistance line now it's becoming a support and this level are expecting uh, as a support and resistance somewhere here you can see this is the uh, resistance line somewhere here it's uh, respecting as a support all right so it is a probability to retest this level okay now let's see today um, top stocks uh, what is the top stock okay here uh, JSW steel let's jump to jsw steel all right uh, i'm not interested to take any position here why most of the people are thinking hey uh, asking me sir it's going a uh, clear uptrend and why are, why you are not interested to take position here so here you can see this this uh, jsw steel uh, right now as a bubble all right as a, as a uh, bubble now we never know when price go uh, drop from this area it may here it may somewhere there but we are expecting price will drop from this area so how we identify uh, it is a bubble all right now you can see price goes sharp uh, toward like a rock uh, it's running like a rocket and if you want to see the intrinsic value um let's see here okay uh and i can see here this one just let me okay this uh w steel and somewhere here current price and intrinsic value sorry 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 okay mm, what is the intrinsic value now i can see current price is 726 and intrinsic value is uh, 664 somewhere here have you seen this on intrinsic value now you can see here intrinsic value is less than current price all right so now uh, means price are uh, uh, buying uh, you can say right now uh, these price are overbought all right uh, price are more expensive so that is why we are not looking for buy all right and if you now see a uh, weekly chart uh price are too far from moving averages have you seen right now moving average is somewhere there and price are here it's a too far from this area and the probability to uh, smash back again like right? snap back again so like uh, i can say like a rubber band man all right so it is a very uh, detailed concept so uh, definitely i'll discuss later
So let's see another stock. Uh, Bajaj Financial Service. Let's just jump to Bajaj Financial. Yesterday, I think we discussed Bajaj Financial Service. Yeah, this one. Okay, now here you can see uh, they are uh, running clear uptrend. Okay, let's just jump to daily time frame. Mm, clear uptrend, and here you can see they are creating higher high. So they're creating higher high, higher low, and the higher high, uh, we are just waiting to create a new higher low. All right, so my rule is buy in a, uh, buy deep in a uptrend. Right now, it is not called deep. All right, uh, price are overextended from uh, moving averages. So that is why we need a pullback. All right, if price give a correction, so definitely we'll go for buy. So how we identify my entry point in this case we are using moving average and trend line so show me here so right now here you can see price are running like that let me show you exactly uh market range okay let's jump here mm -hmm. this two point and let's check it here have you seen it all right, this is called market zone now. And uh, here I can see price are running like that, like that, and then like that. It's a probability to retest this area. All right, so we are looking for buy somewhere there. And people are doing big mistake here. They start buying and price just drop from this area. All right. And another way we are looking for buy if price form any buy signal after giving a correction like that here uh, we are looking for a correction and if they form any bullish candlestick pattern or bullish signal so definitely we will go for buy this is the first opportunity or if price drop to this level and they form any buy signal so definitely we will go for buy all right there are two buy opportunity very interesting mm, another one let's see Okay, let's see another Tata Steel. Is it Tata Steel? Yeah, this one Tata Steel. Yeah, Tata Steel also overextended. So I'm not interested to take any position here because here you can see uh, price are drastically running to our upside and price are too far from moving averages. I don't want to enter in this market. We are looking for this type of uh, pattern all right we see price is just uh, running near uh, this moving averages and uh, right now sorry, uh, right now here you can see price are too far from moving averages okay if we buy it's a probability to drop again all right and last one let's see last one let's see uh hindalco This one Hindalco. Okay, it's a price just opening a gap up, so I, I I'm not looking for buy here. Um, Axis Bank. Let's see some to Axis Bank. Last one, Axis Bank. Right here we discussed yesterday. Yeah. Mm, this one uh, we was looking for buy after breaking this 50 moving average. Here I can see price just open a uh, gap up and form a doji pattern so i'm expecting the price will give a correction because they form a doji pattern we need a correction if price give a correction and form any buy signals in small time frame so definitely we will go for buy so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching